So a lot of the problem on policy on nutrition is two things, in my opinion. One is um, what's often referred to as regulatory capture or the problem of diffuse harm but concentrated benefit. So if I can make $20 million from a thing that costs everybody $1.50, I have a ton of incentive to pay lobbyists to get that written as a rule uh, or to you know, spend an expense account to try to get the FDA to implement that. Um, that's just a general problem with regulating in a democracy. Even when they're faced with incredible lobbying from industry, it took us about 20 years to get added sugar on our nutrition labels. And you would not believe how much money was spent by certain interests trying to prevent that from happening. They got there eventually. So, you know, I, I think as we say, there are problems with regula regulatory action. People are trying, customers care because customers care, regulators care because customers and regulators care, industry cares. You mentioned cooperatives and one in 10 workers is in a cooperative. It's important to remember that the corporation was invented, right? This isn't a thing that's a natural part of human existence. It was invented about a thousand years ago and it's been popular for about 300 years. There are abilities to innovate semi-governmental actions such as buyer cooperatives or consumer cooperatives. Um, you know, my company is a public benefit corporation, which is about a quarter of an inch away from being a regular corporation, except I can't get sued by my shareholders if I prioritize something that isn't profit. That's the difference between a public benefit corporation and a regular corporation, as well as we get to say that we are and it's part of our mission and helps us hire people and communicate why we exist as we do. But we can create something that's between corporations and people and government. I don't necessarily know what it is. Maybe it looks more like a standard cooperative. Maybe it's something entirely new, but the corporation isn't the only way to organize group economic activity. Um, and we might be able to find something that's better than what we currently have. How can we not be prioritizing these conversations? And it's intentional. There's intentionality behind these monopolistic forces to not get the education out there. So I think that uh, there's more of us. This is like a few concentration. It's a concentration that uh, has an unequalized output and impact on society that if we keep talking about it, I'm optimistic we'll keep pushing forward.